This is 1982 IMO problem number two. And here is a view of this problem. Uh, my picture right now shows uh, a little bit small, but uh, I will expand the picture as soon as we understand the, uh, the problem statement. Um, let me go back to the um, blue color board mar uh, marker. Okay, so we have an, a, a scaling triangle A1, A2, A3. It's non-isosceles and the, side, the sides um, have length A1, A2 and A3. And um, M1, M2, M3 are the midpoints of uh, the sides. I did not mark them in my picture because the picture is already has so many points. It's making it uh, harder to to keep track of things but uh, well uh, okay so it's clear that huh? m uh, is for midpoint fine t stands for touch point it's where the in circle touches the uh, three sides so t1 t2 t3 t1 t2 t3 and obviously the 90 degree angles which accompany that finally s1 s2 s3 are simply the reflections of the touch points so t1 reflected across the angle bisector so this is an angle bisector and you reflect t1 across the angle bisector it will be um because of the symmetry of the picture it's not difficult to see that s1 will be on the circle on the in circle similarly uh, s3 will be the reflection of t3 uh, across the a3 angle bisector so therefore s3 will have to be on the in circle and so on um s2 okay so i i forgot to uh label s2 so let me go ahead and label s2 as well so this point here is s2 and clearly you can see s2 is a reflection of t2 okay so let's go back to the original view of the problem now the main statement of the problem is to prove that m1 s1 m2 s2 and m3 s3 are congruent uh, are concurrent lines sorry for that these are concurrent lines um you just realize that even if i i showed where m m1 m2 m3 are so m1 is somewhere here obviously m2 i don't know somewhere probably here and m3 is i don't know maybe here around here uh, one thing is why would these points be all why all these three lines be concurrent right and why do they where sorry where do they really concur uh, the main idea is uh, we know that m1 m2 m3 this triangle is uh, the medial triangle right and as, as such it is similar to triangle a1 a2 a3 um, this gives us the idea of considering whether s1 s2 s3 is also a huh? question mark is triangle S1, S2, S3 also triangle to A1, similar to triangle A1, A2, A3? Because if it is, and if these two triangles have different sizes, then it would mean that these two triangles, M1, M2, M3, and S1, S2, S3, are in fact homotetic, right? So if there's a homotety between two triangles, then uh, there's a center of homotety, which is indeed the point where these three lines concur. So let me uh, remind you of the idea behind homotety. Um, so if you have um, a triangle, a given triangle, um, and you have a center of homotety, let's say, um, so probably I can do it so somewhere uh, here, let's say. So then all you do is you draw these lines which connect it to these vertices. So sorry for that. So these three vertices. Now what all we need is we can now go ahead and um, use a different color, draw parallel lines, right? So I, if I draw a line parallel to this one, let's say that one, I identify these two points and I keep doing the same thing. I can identify a line which is parallel to this guy and finally to this guy and boom, I have these two triangles, so if you call them as A1, A2, A3, and B1, B2, and B3, um, you can see that A1 and B1 are um, corresponding, A2 and B2 are corresponding, and A3 and B3 are corresponding, and when you extend these lines, boom, there is this center of homotety, which we can call it as the point H. 
Um, just as an example, uh, a very well-known center of homotety is the ortho center, right? So if you draw the three um, um, the three altitudes, oops, of any given triangle, so obviously this is the ortho center. I claim that the ortho center. Well, yeah, that one is silly. <laughs> um, so the 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 ortho center is is a center of homotety taking, say, for instance, the midpoints of each of these. Um, oh, sorry, not that one. Sorry for that. Um, the midpoints connecting the ortho center to the three vertices of our triangles. So if you identify these, then you can come up with this triangle. Uh, and so you can call it as L1, LA, LB, and LC. Obviously, ABC and LA, LB, LC are similar triangles. So you can have homotety like in, in this fashion where the center of homotety is inside the triangles uh, or it's, it might lie outside as well. And in this case, the, the ratio of homotety, in that case, R, the ratio of homotety would be A1, um, say A1, A2, divided by, or the other way around is better probably, um, B1, B2, divided by A1, A2, right? Um, and so on. Okay, going back to our picture. So therefore, our goal is to show that these two triangles, huh, if I can show, huh, um, well, if these two triangles are homotetic, which is easy to show once you establish these two triangles are similar, it will show us that these two are homotetic. Uh, if we can also further prove that they don't have the same size, because if they have the same size, then that's a problem because then you will have, there, there's no center of homotety in that case. If you have a triangle, which is similar to another triangle of the same size, um, right, so let, let's, let's do it like this probably. Um, okay, so of the same size, then, then there's no center of homotety, or the center of homotety is actually at infinity, right? So you can draw this line, you can draw the lines which connect huh, these two vertices, and the same ones, the corresponding vertices here, and boom. You just realize that these uh, lines, they intersect at the point at infinity, right? Okay, um, going back to our thing. Okay, now that we have our strategy clear, we can now um, finish the problem. I will now go ahead and augment uh, the picture because we have a clear idea of what we want to do. I want to show that uh, triangle S1, S2, S3 is... Um, make it smart okay we want to show that triangle s1 s2 s3 is similar to triangle a1 a2 a3 probably one of the ways to do it is to show that for instance all three sides of our triangle s1 s2 s3 are parallel to the sides corresponding sides of a1 a2 a3 um so let's begin then we can uh, we can do some angle chasing to uh, for to that end and i'll exactly do that next uh, let me go ahead and use a different color marker and probably i need some space to chase the angles okay so let's begin with um for instance um we, we can calculate each of these tiny angles really what i have in mind is this if i can show that angle s3 I, that point is I, obviously, the in-center. If I can show that S3, I, T, I, T1, okay, so show uh, angle S3, I, uh, T1 is congruent equal to S2, I, T1. Then I claim I'm done because, hey, if these two angles are equal, because these lengths are also equal, they are the, the radius, then it would imply that because of this 90 degree angle here, do you see this 90? So um, S2, S3 will be automatically parallel to A2, A3, right? Does that make sense? Show this, which would imply consequently that, um, that A2, A3 is parallel to S2, S3 because of, for instance, these two triangles being congruent, triangle and um, parallel. Uh, because uh, triangle uh, S3, I, uh, T1 is congruent to triangle S2, I, T1. S2, I, T1. Okay, so this gives us some direction. So now let's establish this result, uh, which will imply this. 
which implies further that those two triangles that we mentioned are indeed congruent and then we can approach the second step where I show that these two don't, they don't have the same size basically okay so uh, how do I chase these angles um, I can do it in uh, two steps so I claim that for instance s3 uh, um, s3 it1 uh, so that angle s3 it1 is simply um equal to uh, t3 it1 minus t3 is3 let's do it um let's move it aside okay so proof proof of this result of course um angle s3 it1 is simply angle uh t3 it1 t3 it1 minus angle huh? uh, minus angle uh t3 is3 t3 i uh, oops t3 uh, i s3 okay um okay that's it i should be able to express everything in terms of the angles a1 a2 a3 now let's start with uh, t uh, um uh, let's start with the big one b the big guy here so t3 i t1 hey notice that t3 i t1 a2 is cyclic because you have these angles 90 degrees and uh, opposite angles they add up to 180 degrees suggesting that t3 i t1 so this angle here oops come on so this angle here is simply 180 degrees minus angle a2 does that make sense? Okay, so next, um, let's have a look at, uh, for example, T3B3A3. Uh, you just notice that this angle is an external angle of triangle A2A3B3. As such, it's equal to A2 plus A3 over 2. Remember, this was an angle bisector. So therefore, this angle here, let me mark it clearly. So let's put it here. Angle... Um, uh, let's say T3, B3, A3 is simply equal to A2 plus 1 half angle A2 plus 1 half angle A3. But then uh, I can go ahead and calculate, uh, I can for instance calculate T3, T IB3 on that uh, uh, right triangle, right? So this angle here. Oh boy, so that's a lot of work. But this angle is just 90 degrees minus this angle. So 90 degrees minus um, angle A2 minus angle 1 half angle A3. And because it's a reflection, that's equal to that as well. So therefore T3 I S3, that guy is just, uh, so, um, is just 2 times this angle. So two times that would be simply, so we have the minus sign here. Uh, it is just two times, so it's just 180 minus two times A2, two times A2, minus two times one half A3, which is A3. Okay, that's a creepy uh, angle chasing here. So therefore, this whole thing is equal to the 180s cancel each other. I have minus A2, minus, minus 2A2, which is plus 2A2. So that's just A2, angle A2. And finally, I have also minus minus A3, which is plus A3. That's pretty clear. But you do the similar uh, angle chasing for uh, S2, I, T1. You just realize, huh, due to symmetry, angle S2, I, T1 is also equal to angle A2 plus A3. Suggesting that these two angles are congruent. This and this is congruent. But then if these two angles are congruent, we are done here. So that would establish that huh, because of this, uh, these two congruent triangles, S3, I, T1 and S2, I, T1, it will establish that S3, S2 is parallel to A2, A3. Right? So, but in a similar way, so S2, S3 is parallel to, so therefore... Um, it's parallel to A2, A3. In a similar way, S1, S2 would be parallel to A1, A2. And finally, S1, S3 parallel to A1, A3, implying the desired result that triangle S1, S2, S3 is indeed uh, similar to triangle A1, A2, A3. Remember that there's another triangle which is similar to this triangle and that was 
M1, M2, M3. So the, you know, finally to establish that we indeed have a homotety, all we need to check is that uh, we don't have such a case where the two triangles are indeed congruent. So how can we eliminate that case? How do I know that M1, M2, M3 is not congruent to S1, S2, S3? Well, it's obvious from the fact that if I draw the circumcircles of those two triangles, if I can show that they don't have the same circumradii, then I'm done. What's the circumradius of triangle S1, S2, S3? It's indeed the in radius. What's the circumradius of M1, M2, M3? Huh? M1, M2, M3 is obviously the what triangle? Um, the what circle? The nine-point circle, right? And indeed, I know that uh, the um, the nine-point circle has a radius. So the radius of the nine-point circle is one half the circumradius. But remember that one uh, the circumradius is uh, well, the the, the circumradius is greater than two times the in radius, right? This is a very well-known fact. Uh, or um, well, obviously. Uh, well, okay, okay, so let's just write that. So therefore, this one is definitely greater. Well, because our triangle is non-isosceles, it is strictly greater than R. So therefore, we have shown that, but this is the uh, circumradius, circumradius of a triangle M1, M2, M3, versus this one is the circumradius of uh, triangle S1, S2, S3. This establishes that these two triangles, they have different size, but they are similar, so therefore they must be homotetic. If they are homotetic, then we can go back to the problem statement, and it is clear that these three uh, lines corresponding, uh, I mean, these three lines which connect the corresponding uh, vertices of these two similar triangles will meet at the center of homotety, uh, of those uh, two triangles and and we are done right so this this was a really nice and neat question uh, that the main idea was to establish a homotety between two triangles so as such it is uh, very instructional and useful hope you enjoyed this uh, lecture and looking forward to see you guys in our next lecture